Okay. This to me looks like five. Do you want to start on one? Sure. It's yeah. For, it's going to be hard for me to check your answers because I I just can't hardly read them. Yeah, I'll read it to so, you. So it's five z squared plus forty five z. Yep. Exactly. Okay. It's greatest common factor. Always the first um, step with factoring polynomials is to ask. Yeah. You what's the greatest common factor? Okay. So well, what I did was I divided by five z squared. Okay, but for something to be a greatest common factor, it has to divide evenly into both terms. Okay. okay. Five oh, z so squared nine. does divide evenly into that term, but it does not divide evenly into that term because it leaves a z in the denominator. Mm -hmm. So 5z oh, is the z. greatest common factor. Okay. Okay. And okay. here's the step that I would like to see you take every time, and I guarantee mm -hmm. it'll solve all problems. Mm -hmm. What's left when I multiply when I divide everything by five c? What what's what goes here is the result right here. What goes there? Um, In other words, what's five? Z yeah. Okay. Z so z plus nine. Well, hold on a second before we even get to the second part. As you're yeah. doing this, make sure that you do this step. You multiply those two back together to make sure you get what you started with. Okay. Okay? Okay. And that's the secret of doing these, is okay. never make a mistake if you do that. Because if mm -hmm. this times this is not 5z squared, then you've made a mistake and you can go back and find it. And you're right, okay. it's plus 9, because 9 times 5z is 45z. Mm -hmm. Now, once you've picked your uh, greatest common factor, the rest is relatively easy. What did you write mm -hmm. right here? What is this number? Uh, 5z squared, uh, and I then see, y plus 9. I see the 5z squared, but I can't read yeah. what that says. That looks like a y. Yeah, I meant to put a z, but I put a y. Okay. Accident, so. Well, if yeah. you'd have put a z, then you'd have seen mm -hmm. that z times 5z squared is 5z cubed. Mm -hmm. No, it couldn't be that. No. All right. Okay. So okay. let's go to the next one here. Uh, you might have to read this one for me. Yeah, it's 60 squared uh, minus 21d. Oh, it's d? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I I always do these do the number first and the variable next. What's the big okay. number you can think of? Would you? Um, well, what I did, I added twenty one d to both sides. Hold on, twenty one does not divide into six. No. But six doesn't Three divide does. into twenty one. Three is the biggest. Three mm -hmm. is the biggest common number that divides into both six and twenty-one. And what's the biggest okay. variable that divides into both? Um, just d, right? right. D squared. Um, just d. Or just d. Just d. Just d. Yeah. In other words, and now what? What has to go here? Um, d. Let's put the number first. Uh, in other words, we're going to divide six okay. d squared by three d, right? Oh, yeah. So two, two d. Two d. Just two. And then we yeah. do the check. This multiplied by that gives you six d squared. We did it right. Now, mm -hmm. what's the second term? Um, minus um, just three, right? Twenty-one divided 3. by three. Oh, my bad. Yeah, so, so negative 7. So just, yeah. And do that check. Minus 7 times 3D is minus 21D. Okay. So you'll always know if you make a mistake, or you should. Mm -hmm. That's the secret of doing them, yeah. is to always do that check. Mm -hmm. okay, this looks like 3Y to the fourth minus 9Y squared? Um, yeah, it's 3Y to the third. Okay. Yeah. 
It looks like a 4 on your screen. Minus 9y squared? Yep, exactly. Okay. What's the biggest okay. number we can take out? Um, so could you divide by 3y squared? Yes. But you can. Uh-huh. We can do the whole thing in one step if you're comfortable doing that. But it's okay. easier, I think, to do the number first and then the variable. So the number is 3. Okay. Yeah. And the biggest variable has to be y squared. Okay. y squared, in other words, y cubed divided by y squared equals y. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But y yeah. squared divided by y cubed equals y to the minus 1. That's not an even division. Okay. Okay. So it's always going to be the smallest exponent that you factor out. What okay. goes here? Um, so, uh, y, right? Yep. Okay, and then mine is uh, 3, yeah, minus 3. Good. Cool. Okay. Next one looks like 20 what? Uh, 20x cubed plus 30x squared. You know, I've seen these set of problems earlier. Wow. Really? And I think it was the same girl who sent them to me on <laughs> this. I think she had to read them also, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. She might okay. have just verbalized them to begin with. These, are, these gotcha. are problems you could actually just verbalize and not send me. Although, the yeah, thing exactly. sending me is that I get to check and see if you're doing mm -hmm. it right or wrong. And if you're doing it right, we don't need to go over. If you're doing it wrong, we could go over. So there is some yeah. advantage in that. But okay. yeah. uh, we'll get these down pretty pretty quickly mm -hmm. here. You'll get them. We will. It's yeah. the biggest number that I can take out. Let's do it in two steps, if you don't mind. OK, sure. So we could do 5. OK, let's try 5. What's the biggest letter? Um, 30x. No, just, just x, x, x squared. X squared. In other words, okay. when I say the biggest letter that we can take out, what's the biggest oh, power yeah, okay. of x? What's the greatest common factor of x that we can take out? That would be x squared, not x, x squared. cubed. We cannot take okay. out x cubed. We okay. can take out an x squared. What's left behind? And then, so we would put x plus. No. The row uh, x, that doesn't multiply together to give 20x cubed. No, so 40. I mean, I uh, have 44, my bad. 4x, okay. 4x, yeah, plus um, 6. Okay, now, there's something wrong with this answer. What is it? It's not simplified. Always. Exactly. Which means I didn't take out the greatest common factor. So, I could go yeah. back and start from the scratch, but I don't need to. Let's take mm -hmm. out a, the greatest common factor of this. What's the greatest common factor of this? Um, six. I cannot divide four by six. Okay. So it'd be four x. Now hold on. I can't divide okay. six by four x. Remember, yeah. a greatest common factor has to be the biggest number that divides evenly into both entities. Okay. That would be a two. Two. Oh, okay. See why? Yeah, because two, two goes into, five, into yeah. four. Forget the five for the moment. Two goes. I'm I'm mm -hmm. talking about just this part here. Two mm -hmm. goes into four, and two goes into six, and there is not a bigger number that goes into both of them. Okay. Yeah. That's how you get greatest common factor. So I can pull out a two here. Let's just pull it out, multiply it by that. Mm -hmm. And that changes this to 2x and changes that to 3, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I simplify, yeah. I've got 10x squared times 2x plus 3, which is fully simplified. And it's the correct okay. answer. And it's what I would have gotten had I seen that I can actually pull out a 10. Okay. Right? Cool. Because yeah. 10 goes into 20, 10 goes into 30. So mm -hmm. I can pull out a 10x squared. What's left behind? 2x plus 3. So I okay. get there a little quicker if I see 
the greatest common factor. But you can get away with factoring out something that is not the greatest common factor as long as you realize mm -hmm. that it's not fully factored like you did. You okay. saw that 4x yeah. plus 6 was not fully factored. So you need to okay. do it more. It's a little bit like reducing radicals. Uh, you yeah. can do it a step at a time. It just takes longer, but uh, mm -hmm. you still get to the right answer. Okay. Yeah. So five is five in. Yeah. The six. Uh, wait. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It says five n to the six plus two n to the fifth. Okay. Yeah. It's the biggest number you can take out. Um. N to the fifth. Yeah, the biggest number is oh, one. Yeah. The biggest variable yeah. is n to the fifth. In other words, I can't mm -hmm. take out a number. There is no number mm -hmm. other than one that divides evenly into two and to five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what goes here? Yeah. Um, one. So, well, would it just be n? n minus one? Hold on. If I do that, does n times n to the fifth equal 5n to the sixth? No. And that's not right. No. What must it be? So, let's talk, just one. Let's talk about doing division. Here's what we're doing. Okay. We're doing 5n to the sixth, and we're dividing it by n to the fifth. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, 5 um. divided by 1 is still 5. What is n yeah. to the sixth divided by n to the fifth? Just n. Okay. So that's what goes there. Five n. Okay. Now multiply it back together. Do you get what you started with? Okay. So plus one. Not plus one. Would be. Um, How am I going to get so two n to the fifth? You have to divide. Well, so, it's got to be plus 2, then. Plus 2, then, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah then okay. Make sure you do this ballpark check. That times that has to equal that. So okay. Just like this yeah. times that had to equal that. That's what will okay. always tell you whether you got it right or not and okay. allow you to fix it. Now, the true problem is division. But when I do mm -hmm. division, I always check it by multiplying. Okay. Almost even when I divide 72 by 9, I know that's 8, and in my mind, I'm multiplying 8 by 9 to make sure it's 72. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see, number 6 is, looks like 12a to the 4th plus Yep, plus 8a. A. What's the biggest yeah. number we can take out? Um, we could do four. Okay, what's the biggest letter? It's, um, A to the fourth. No? Oh, no, just A. Okay. Just A. Yeah. What goes here? Okay. Um, so, so three, so three A. Is that right? Um, yeah, and then plus Hold two. Hold on. The plus two is plus correct. Three. But the 3a isn't correct. Would be 3a to the fourth. It's got to be 3a to the third. Let's okay. talk about multiplying variables for a moment. If I have okay. x squared times x to the third, what's that equal to? Uh, x to the sixth. No, you add them. Oh, so x to Always the Always okay. adding them when we're doing multiplication. Okay. It's just like okay. if I have x to the 6th divided mm -hmm. by x squared, what is that equal to? Uh, x to the 3rd. 4th. 4th, my bad. Because we're subtracting. Because we're subtracting. Always do okay. one level less mathematically with the exponents than you're doing with the base. In other words, okay. this yeah. one, we're multiplying the bases, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to add the exponents. This okay. one, we're dividing the bases, so we're going to subtract the exponents. Now, there okay. is one more case, and that's where if you had x squared cubed, that mm -hmm. is double exponentiation. This is where you multiply the exponent. 
Yes. Okay. So you have three possible different things you can do. And the base has to be the same. In other words, if I have 2 cubed times 5 to the fourth, I can't do anything with that in the way of simplifying it because my bases are different. But if I have 2 cubed times 2 to the fourth, same base, multiplication, I'm going to what? You can add them. 2 to the seventh. So I'd be 2 to the seventh. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether I have numbers here or variables. What is important is that those bases be the same. Okay. Okay. So in this problem here, uh, 12a to the fourth plus 8a, remember, mm -hmm. I can take a 4a out, but this mm -hmm. is going to have to be a cubed because when I multiply these two things together, it's got to end up being a to the fourth. And I know I'm going to add the exponents. There is an mm -hmm. implied exponent of 1 right there. Mm -hmm. So when I multiply yeah. a times a to the third, I get a to the fourth. Okay. okay. Cool. And this okay. over here was correct, too, because 2 times 4a is 8a. Okay, cool. Okay, now we're solving equations. Mm -hmm. Same process exactly, only we take it slightly further. The first step is to factor the left side. Mm -hmm. So would we add p to both sides? No. No. In other words, what we're looking at is a quadratic. And usually the way we solve quadratics, not 100% of the time, but most of the time, is to set one side to zero and factor mm -hmm. the other side. What's the greatest common factor I can take out? Um, just minus p. Just p. Well, no, you could do you could do two. No, I can't because two doesn't go no. into one. No. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I got to do so this. Just p. What goes here? Um. So four p divided by p. Four p to this. Yeah, just 4p, and then you do minus 1. Okay. Now, here's the reason we leave 0 on the other side and factor the left side. It's because almost the most important theorem of all of algebra says that mm -hmm. if you multiply two things together and it's equal to 0, then either one of those things can be 0, but at least one of them has to be 0. There's no two numbers you can multiply together and get zero. There mm -hmm. aren't, except no. unless one of them is zero. So this mm -hmm. is now very solvable for us. I can solve it mm -hmm. by letting that equal zero, so there's one solution, or this mm -hmm. can be zero. So 4p minus 1 equals zero, which means p equals 1 fourth. So okay. this has two solutions, that one and that one. And quadratics okay. almost always do have two solutions. Mm -hmm. okay. So okay. that's the reason we, we factor instead of moving the P to the other side. Uh, if mm -hmm. that P was on the other side, we'd want to subtract it and get it over to the left side. In other words, the way okay. we solve quadratics is by factoring, not by moving stuff over. Is this 6M squared? Um, yeah, so 6m squared plus 12m equals 0. Same thing. We're going to factor because we want the left side to be two things multiplied together. Mm -hmm. So what's the biggest number I can remove? 2. Because, yeah, 2 goes into 6 and 2 goes into 12. That is true, but it's not the biggest. Would you, could you, oh, you could do 3. Yeah, so you can do That's three. not the biggest either. Oh, well. About six. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's the biggest so letter? Way. Um, So 6m squared. No. Or just 6m. And then... Notice that um, if you were to make that mistake, let's say we'll let you make that mistake, then what would go here would be one. Mm -hmm. 
But then what would go here? That You couldn't mm -hmm. put anything there. Nothing no. that's going to multiply by 6m squared is going to give you that unless I put 2m to the negative 1. And you certainly don't use negative exponents when you're factoring. Okay? No. So yeah. you should catch yourself immediately that yeah. you can't. Well, always, you, you have a tendency to want to give me the biggest letter instead of the yeah. smallest. Mm -hmm. So remember, you're always going to be factoring out the smallest letter. Okay. Plus T, yeah. So what's the solution? If that um, is true, then what can you say about M? So if we were to simplify it, it'd be 6m squared. No, it was just that, and we just unsimplified it. And we unsimplified it for a reason. Uh, we couldn't solve it when it was in this format. When it was here, there was no way to solve it. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we get two things multiplied together, equaling zero, mm -hmm. we can now solve it. Yeah. How do we solve this? Um, Got to do two things. Yeah. Either set that equal to zero and or set that equal to zero. Oh, and you right. always do both. Okay. Yeah, so we could use 6 times is equal to zero. Okay. Or, and then we divide by 6. Okay, so that means m is equal to zero. That's one solution. Mm -hmm. And then we can do m plus 2 is equal to 0. Which means? Uh, m is equal to negative 2. Okay. There's your two solutions. Cool. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, we can certainly do another one. And I'm happy to do as many as you want to do. Uh, okay. We only had a half hour scheduled. Do you have to have these done? We, we have a Thursday night session also. We do. Are we yeah. going to be working on the same paper, or is this a paper you need done by tomorrow, or anything? Um. Yeah, this paper I need to be done by tomorrow, but I'll have new homework tomorrow. Okay, so we'll have so something we can... new on Thursday. I'm concerned yeah. that we're not quite to a point yet where I feel like you know how to do this. Should we do one more? Okay. We... Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do it until you can yeah. get it without my help. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Okay. So we could so five goes in both of them. So if just five C. Goes here. And then uh five just five. Plus um 2c equals 0. And then we can do 5c is equal to 0. And then divide that by 5c, and then you get c is equal to 5, or 0, like that. And then 5 plus 2c is equal to 0. And always make sure you do this step. Don't try to do that step in your head. Mm -hmm. Most of my students and then we, will get it backwards if they do it in their head. Okay. So now we just subtract 5. And then, yeah, 2c is equal to negative 5, and then c is equal to negative 2.5. We can leave it as a fraction. I prefer it as a fraction. Okay. Just there's okay. no need to change it to a decimal. Okay? okay. And that's how you do this. Okay. And notice okay, that they awesome. even tried to switch it up there. They put the c squared second. Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't yeah. matter. If they'd have put the c squared no. first, then this would have been 2c, and this would have been 5. Mm -hmm. The key okay. is cool. to take that quadratic and separate it into two things multiplying together. The 5c yeah. times that. Okay. Cool. Okay. Do you want to go, or do you want to keep working? Um, Let me just have a quick we, peek and see if there's anything different. 10 looks pretty yeah. easy and similar to everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Make me feel good by doing 11. Okay, sure. Because it's a little different looking. 
Yeah. Okay, so for this one, can you just divide? No, you can't divide. Um, There's a problem with dividing by 3n. Mm -hmm. And that is that mathematics does not allow division by 0. And yeah. if, n ha if one of the solutions happens to be 0 and we divide mm -hmm. by n, we'll lose it. Mm -hmm. Notice that if I were to divide both sides by 3n, I get n equal 3. That's it. That's my only solution. Mm -hmm. But I'm missing a solution because clearly n can be 0. Right? Mm -hmm. So n can mm -hmm. be 0, and in fact, that's one of the solutions, but we don't get it if we divide by it. So always be a little mm -hmm. careful when you're dividing by variables that might be 0. If okay. zero is one of their solutions, you'll lose it. So what's the better way mm -hmm. to do this one? We could subtract nine. Nine n. Maybe. In nine other words, what we're nine. trying to do is get zero on one side. Yeah. Okay, so now. And then you get n squared is equal to zero. Right. Once you subtract nine n from the whole right side, you get zero. And that's what we're looking for, mm -hmm. zero. Okay, now mm -hmm. the rest of it? Okay, so now we can do 3n squared is equal to 0. No, hold on. Or 3n squared. Wait. We haven't factored so it yet. No. So that's the next step, is you've got to turn it into the product of two things. Mm -hmm. So what's the greatest okay. common factor? Oh, so th we would, yeah, we would do 3. We could do 3. Because okay. 3 goes into both okay. the no, The letter? Okay. Yeah, so 3n. Um, and then in the parentheses, just n um, minus 3n, or just minus 3. Okay. What's the solution? Equals 0. And then 3n is equal to 0. Okay, which means n equals 0. n is equal. Yeah, and then n minus 3 equals 0. And then n is equal to 3. Aha! Notice that when we did it this way, we got both solutions. Now, mm -hmm. it might seem a trivial thing that we didn't get the n equals 0 solution, but that's not trivial. That, you'd have lost half credit mm -hmm. on the problem if you didn't come up with n equals 0 as one of the solutions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So, in other words, even when they give it to you in a form that's not in the form we're looking for, you need to put it mm -hmm. into that form. You want to... Okay. Take a quadratic and make one side zero. And that's almost okay. the way you want to solve every kind of every quadratic you encounter. Okay. All right? Cool. I'll let All you right. go and I will talk to you awesome. Thursday night. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Bye bye.